You love your cat. You feed them, cuddle them, and take them to the vet, and of course, you give them water. However, a common issue for almost all cat parents is that their cats aren't drinking enough water. In this video, we'll delve into the six most common reasons behind this behavior and what you can do in each situation to encourage your cat to stay hydrated. Plus, we'll cover how to spot when things get serious enough to consult a vet. But before we dive in, why not click the subscribe button and join our feline loving community for more tips and tricks on how to care for your cat. Number one, you've got the wrong bowl. Not all bowls were created equal, and there are a few different reasons why your kitty could refuse to drink out of a specific one. First, consider the size. Cats use the sensitive whiskers on their snout and forehead to judge whether they can fit through small spaces. Your kitty probably isn't planning to swan dive into their water dish anytime soon, but if the bowl is small enough for their whiskers to start scraping the rim, it can still be uncomfortable for them. The material of the bowl can also be a problem. Some plastic bowls can, over time, develop scratches and dents that can harbor bacteria. It might not be enough to make your kitty sick, but it can cause the bowl and the water in it to smell or taste weird. What do I do about it? Experts recommend stainless steel as the best material for cat food and water dishes because of its strength and antibacterial qualities. However, if you're sticking with plastic, be sure and keep an eye on your bowl's condition and replace it when it starts to look scratched or banged up. Go for a wide, shallow dish to make room for your kitty's sensitive whiskers and ensure that your cat isn't having to dunk their head right inside as the water level goes down. Number two, the bowl is in the wrong place. Would you enjoy drinking water if you always had to do it next to the toilet? Then why would you expect your cat to put up with it? It may make sense from a human perspective to put all the cat-related things in one place, but most cats would prefer it if you kept their food and water bowls far away from their litter box. They may also prefer it away from their food. In the wild, cats hunt and eat away from where they drink to avoid contaminating clean water sources with dead prey. Not every kitty applies this rule to dry food, but if your pet is avoiding their water bowl, moving it away from the food dish is a good trick to try. Some cats also don't like to always drink in the same place, as this can make them feel vulnerable. What do I do about it? If possible, you should have more than one water source available to your cat, especially if there are multiple kitties in the same house. Water dishes should be away from the litter box and food if necessary, and ideally in quiet areas of the home so your cat doesn't have to worry about being sociable every time they want a drink. If your cat is avoiding their water dish and there's no obvious problem with the location, try moving it anyway. Cats are sensitive creatures, and things that don't matter at all to us can be very upsetting and stressful to them. Number three, your cat doesn't like still water. Your cat's wild ancestors wouldn't have had nice dishes to drink from or kind humans to fill them. They would have been responsible for finding their own sources of water and for making sure that those sources couldn't make them sick. Running water, like the kind found in rivers and streams, is generally safer to drink than standing water because the movement of the water helps flush away bacteria and mold before it can build up. To this day, many cats prefer running water to still, and some will actually avoid standing water altogether. What do I do about it? Letting your kitty drink from the faucet occasionally is all right as a treat, but it's also a good way to waste water and money if there isn't a human around to turn the water off again afterwards, especially if your furry friend figures out how to turn it on again themselves. A better idea is a cat fountain. These fountains cycle water through spouts, allowing your kitty to have that fresh running water taste whenever they want without you having to pay for a load of wasted water. Number four, your cat doesn't like the taste. We all have that friend who refuses to drink anything but flavored water, saying they don't like the taste of the plain stuff. In fact, maybe you are that friend. The water from your faucet has small amounts of chlorine in it to keep it from getting contaminated by bacteria, and some people are more sensitive to that taste than others. But did you know that some cats can also be affected by this? 
If your cat seems reluctant to drink from their bowl, it's possible that they just hate the taste of the water. What do I do about it? Unless you're one of the eccentric uber-rich, you probably don't want to buy bottled spring water for your cat. But you don't have to. To coax a fussy fuzzball into drinking from their dish, try adding a few drops of the liquid from a packet of wet food or a tin of tuna. The flavoring will permeate the water and make it extra delicious for your cat. Just make sure not to add too much, unless you want the whole room to smell like tuna. Number 5. Your cat doesn't like drinking. Cats evolved in hot, arid environments where there wouldn't be much water to go around. As such, they evolved to get most of their water from their prey and to only drink occasionally. This works well in the wild but can be a problem for domestic kitties, who mostly eat dry food but have water available whenever they want. Some cats adjust to this new way of things, but others have difficulty with it. Some cats just won't drink too much, even when they're dehydrated. Other times, however, your kitty's bad hydration habits can have a more sinister cause. If your cat used to drink a lot, but then suddenly stopped, or if they're showing other changes in behavior, that can be a sign that there is some illness or injury at work that is making drinking uncomfortable or painful for your cat. What should I do about it? If you have any doubts about your cat's health, consult a vet immediately. It is always better to be safe than sorry. In the meantime, however, switching your cat to a wet food diet can help them get some of that moisture they need. In some cases, it may be worth adding extra water to the wet food if your cat is really dehydrated. Just make sure you don't turn it into soup or your kitty may start avoiding it again. Number 6. The water isn't fresh. You might think that a cat wouldn't be too picky about the state of their water bowl. After all, your kitty's wild ancestors probably survived drinking out of puddles. And besides that, you've seen your cat lick their own butt. How fussy can they honestly be about what goes in their mouth? The answer? Very. Cats will often refuse to drink water that has been standing for too long. So, if your kitty seems to be avoiding their water dish, ask yourself when was the last time you changed it? What do I do about it? Your cat's water should be changed daily, regardless of how much is left in the bowl. You should also take the opportunity to rinse out the bowl when you do this, to reduce the chances of harmful bacteria developing. You should ideally give your cat's dish a proper wash, using hot water and cat-safe dish soap, once every two days. Ways to tell if your cat is dehydrated There are a few ways to tell if your cat is not just thirsty, but actively dehydrated. If you spot these signs or have any suspicion that your cat may be experiencing dehydration, consult a vet as soon as possible. A dehydrated cat will be unusually weak and lethargic, showing less interest in playtime or social interaction. Their saliva will be thick and their eyes may look sunken in. There are a couple of tests you can try at home. Gently pinch the loose skin at the back of your cat's neck, then let go and see how long it takes for it to spring back. It should do so almost instantly. If it doesn't, then that means your cat is experiencing loss of skin elasticity, which is a common symptom of dehydration. If you're feeling a little braver and have a really good relationship with your pet, you can also try gently tapping their gums with a finger. If they feel sticky or tacky, that's another sign of dehydration. Cats can be hard to figure out. For more help in understanding your pet's behavior, check this video out for 10 weird things your cat does and why they do them.